Our next guest is one of the newest members of the Toronto Maple Leafs, but no stranger to the city as he joins a growing list of local boys returning to the city in what I will call their Carlsberg years. Mark Giordano joins me now. Welcome back to the show, Mark. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, thanks for having me, Tim. I heard you just got off a flight not too long ago. Hope it was good. Is that, uh, is that true? Yeah, yeah. I got uh, landed here around 3.30, 4 o'clock, I want to say, and everything went smoothly, so it's uh, good to be back. Uh, so have you, have you met with the guys? Like, what's been the, uh, what's been the, the scene so far? Yeah, not not really. Uh, just got got a ride back to the hotel, trying to settle in here and uh, um, just you know get get acclimated a bit. But uh, I'm I'm gonna head into the rink early tomorrow, and I'll I'll see all the guys then. Nice, we got you before the boys. So so on <laughs> on times like this, you read the rumors and you try and sort through the truth and the horse bleep. But was it true that you wanted to come back to Toronto if in fact that was available? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think I think uh, there was a list of teams. I had a pretty pretty uh, honest talk with uh, Ron Francis about a month before the deadline, and uh, um, you know, just talked to him about what the future held. And he mentioned that there was he thought there was you know up, up to six teams that would be interested, and Toronto was uh, one of them on the list. And you know, that's one that obviously stands out for a number of reasons. Uh, um, but I just I, uh, when it when it started getting closer to the deadline and it started becoming more and more of a possibility, it was it was exciting and um, and when it finally happened, it was it was pretty cool. It's pretty special. So, what's the outside look or the hundred yard view of the team that you're about to join? Like, what do you see about the Leafs from the outside looking in? Well, I, I, it was a team that excited me because. Uh, you know their team. They have 83 points in the standings. You look up and down their lineup. There's uh, there's obviously uh, so much depth in every position. And uh, I thought it, I thought there was a role for me to play here, come in and play and, and help this team in a positive way. So uh, we played them a couple weeks ago, and I thought uh, you know it was a pretty it was pretty it was an eye opener. I thought that was the best uh, I've ever seen their, their top line look against uh, me as a player. Um, it was a pretty dominant performance, obviously, by uh, by Matthews and, and Marner and Bunting there that night. But uh, I just like I just like their overall game. I like the, the speed they play with. I like their aggressiveness, um, and I'm I'm happy to be joining them. And I'm gonna you know gonna do my best to fit in and, and uh, play that style as well. Well, I'm guessing if you went straight to the hotel, straight off a of flight, you might not have had a chance to uh, to chat with the coaches and get what role you'll be playing with this team. But is it nice to to join a squad that you know a few guys on and maybe an old defense partner sitting there? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot. To, I think, you know, that stuff, knowing the guys. That's, I'm from Toronto, and I'm back in the city about a bunch in the summer. So, so whether it be – I've played with Broads, obviously, for a long time, but – you know, just knowing Spez my whole life, playing against them and, and skating with a bunch of the guys here in the summers, like whether it be, uh, you know, at a scrimmage here or, or a skate there, you, you run into guys uh, throughout the summer and gone to know a few of them uh, quite well. So I'm excited to get here. Um, um, I think it'll be a, a, a pretty, pretty uh, easy transition for my family and myself and uh that way it's 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 that much easier to focus for uh you know the on ice stuff i know family means a lot to you as you mentioned them what's it going to be like playing at home oh it's going to be great i think for my just for my kids i, I think uh, uh they're getting older you know and and to be able to spend time now with uh you know family first and foremost my my grandparents my sister but then cousins and all that too it's 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 great for them and uh uh, for my wife as well, she's from Toronto as well. Lauren's from here as well, so she has a ton of family here too. And it'll be, it'll be, we'll have a lot of support and we'll have a lot of help. And that's going to make the, you know, the trade and the transition to coming coming back here that much easier. You know, from growing up in this city, there's some pressure that comes with this market as well. Does that sort of thing bug you? No, uh, you know what? I played in Calgary. I think uh, maybe Calgary is not to the extent of, of Toronto, but there is there is a, a lot of passion. I will say in Canadian markets, and and uh, you know what? That's that's the one thing uh, playing in Seattle was a little bit of uh, a different feel for me, and and uh, you know not having the coverage of hockey on the TV every day, 
Um, for a little bit, maybe it's nice, but I, I'm a I'm a big hockey fan as well. So, um, you know, I know I play in the league, but I enjoy I enjoy watching uh, games and stuff on my off nights and, and things like that. So, um, I look forward to it. I look forward to it. It's a challenge, and and uh, I think it's you know a mindset you have to you have to know that um, if things aren't going well, you're gonna get you're gonna hear about it, and if things are going well, you're gonna hear about it in a positive way. So you just have to. It's all a mindset and, and how you take it and how you handle it. After spending your entire career in, in Calgary, you obviously go to Seattle and then it doesn't last a year there and you're in Toronto. But does the move maybe make it a little easier to become acclimated to a new team? Because it's not like you guys got a ton of games here before the playoffs hit. You got about 20 games. Is it going to be tough to kind of get up to speed on the team that you're joining? Yeah, no, I think the move makes it, it, makes it a lot easier being my hometown. But um, no, I, I just feel excited, man. Like to, to, uh, for the last month or two, I will say in, in Seattle, you know, it's it's a, it's a terrible feeling, especially as a player's uh, a guy who's been around for a long time. But you know, you're not playing for for playoff implications, and to get back into a playoff race and right back into the the mix is is, is exciting for me, and I'm I can't wait to get going. I, I you know, I, I'm I'm looking forward to that first game I get into and and playing with a lot of excitement, a lot of energy. So let me uh, let me take you back, and I tell the kid who I believe went to Chaminade uh, <laughs> that he'd be 38, 16 seasons in the show, a Norris Trophy, and now playing for his hometown Buds. What would he say? Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, I don't know what I would say, but uh, I could say this. It's pretty. It's a pretty special feeling uh, when it when it happened uh, yesterday. It was It was pretty cool, and... Uh, um, yeah, I just think it's it's a great it's 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 a great great opportunity for myself, and and I'm gonna take advantage of it. So, uh, looking forward to it. Listen, I know the heritage is Italian. Is there anyone that uh, home cooking that you're looking forward to getting in your belly here? Like, is there is there someone feed you every time you come home as a road player that that may get a few extra visits over the next little while? <laughs> I mean, my mom is definitely going to get a bunch of visits. She was, she was mad at me tonight because I told her that I'm just going to lay low and relax tonight, and uh, uh, she was ready to ready to cook for me from day one. So I'm sure I'll get a bunch of meals uh, meals from her over the next uh, little bit here. Nice. Uh, well, we appreciate you uh, while laying low joining us here on the show, and uh, as always, wish you the best of luck. Okay. Thanks a lot, Tim. Thank you, Mark. There is uh, Mark Giordano, newest member of the Toronto Maple Leafs here on Tim and Friends.